we should uh, rewind this just a little oh bit to, so he could hear what Robert Meyer Burnett said. I was like, what? Okay. Uh, obviously. All right, hold on. Sorry. Oh, uh, the Batman. Possibly future in doubt. Uh oh. I think this I is. I don't know. And the, the reason I I want to go over this again is because um we got exclusive from Sean O'Rourke that but the Penguin is going into production soon, and it's an expensive endeavor, and they're still going forward. So yeah. This would be- the opposite of yeah, what your ab- horses are saying. It's absolutely opposite. No, I, I have a friend of mine who has a job on the Penguin, yes. and he he starts, uh, in, let's see, he told me two weeks, about a week and a half ago, so probably Monday. Ian, um, how much per, how much is the episodes going to run? I think you gave an estimate of like how much it's the I think it was the, the full season was yeah. like $300 million. Yes, that's significant for a show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this this is what Robert Meyer Burnett is saying here. We, and I like Robert Meyer Burnett, but I'm like, I think he's off on this one here. There's been the changeover now. They're looking for ways to cut. He turns down the music in a second here. This is ridiculous. The music's too high. Budgets. The Batman was an expensive movie to make because they had COVID protocols, so it, it bolstered right. the, the budget. I think it, with this is saying something that Matt Reeves is now going to take this on and maybe direct this uh, obviously a passion project for him um and now with dc in flux we haven't heard what they're going to do other than we're going to talk about something happened that's made right, Sean. That's <laughs> but i think that what? there's a good possibility what? that the batman might wind up being a standalone film <laughs> Because like you know, like one DC's not in flux, they're about to announce their like at least their first year or two like movies and shows in like a week or two, and like in the next week, and then like at San Diego Comic Con they'll announce the rest of that stuff, and then Batman Two is is like, and like in heavy development where they're basically like crossing dots and eyes and stuff for uh like you know the script, Bat- and Penguin's coming up in like a week or two also, so it's like. Like it's in DC's in flux or Batman future in doubt. That's uh, like a stupid statement because you know I, so many things. I, I wouldn't. Are, say, like, I wouldn't that. say. I wouldn't say it's a stupid statement. I just don't know where his source is coming from. That and and he has really good sources. So uh, I just don't know where that's coming from. And I would just again. I think I don't know how many times James Gunn has said this publicly, but. Only he knows what's coming, him and Peter. It's just like, guys, everybody just relax. Like, it's it's imminent. I mean, we may hear something next week. Right, we think, may right. hear, um, yeah. I mean, he said January, and what's today? The 23rd, mm-hmm. so we got a week left. I mean, mm-hmm. I think we're going to hear some stuff fairly soon, and I wouldn't be surprised if it's next week. Mm-hmm. I just think people are impatient, you know? Just yeah, like- absolutely. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm impatient. I agree. I'm impatient. I want to. If you're not going to do what I was wanting, I want to see what you're going to. I do want to see what you're going to do, and I'm I not going to root against it. I mean, I'm not root against it. Didn't didn't you just see the nuggets that was dropped by Jason Momoa? Yeah. yeah. That I'm got me. Still Aquaman. That, that warmed my, that warmed my heart. Something. Yeah. yeah. That warmed my heart. I'm like, how can I be negative when this guy is so positive? I like. I wish I could be more like him. He's like positive towards everything in life. So, uh, let, well, let's that, see. but that's that hope that was, that's that Hawaiian, you know, yeah. that Samoan, you know, kind of happy, happy that man. whole vibe, man. Is, yeah. is, and cause Dwayne's yeah. like that too, no matter how much people are like turning on Dwayne Johnson, he's all about like, yo, you know, all that kind of stuff. So. Yeah. Hey, senior nerd. Uh, hey. we're going to, we're going to get to the box office game right after this. I just wanted to see now. Yeah, see, let's is. see how silver yeah, spawns because the, oh, whatever's good. going to happen at DC moving forward. I know they've said it's not going to happen. Like Matt Reeves has said, you know. It's well, remember last week, Matt Reeves and uh, Matt Weaves. Matt Weaves. Matt Weaves. Matt Weaves. Um, they, right. Matt Reeves just said last week that him and James Gunn sat down to discuss the future. Absolutely. And like during when AT&T hmm. had Warner Brothers. What was that There's role? been the changeover now. They're looking for ways to cut budgets. The Batman was an expensive movie to make because they had COVID protocols. So it was just watching it over again. I what? think is it, really this is saying is he playing it again. Matt Reeves is now he's doing like, this for emphasis. Get it? I forgot. 
I forgot so, I'm so watching a sub video, but I'm watching a John Candy video. For him. Yeah. Um, and now with DC in flux, we haven't heard what they're going to do. I, he's going to use this as ammunition, I think. That's made somebody happy. But I think that there's a good Come on, so I want to hear what you say so I can the Batman trash this video. might wind up being a standalone right. film. He had nothing to say. Because okay. the, whatever's going to happen at DC moving forward, I know they've said it's not going to have it. Like Matt Reeves has said, you know. It's well, remember last week, Matt Reeves and. Uh... Okay. Okay. So what's weird about this, because you have. Um, Thank God Penguin the music series. is gone. Yeah. That's supposed to go into production See? next month. Okay, so actually gives a reasonable take. And that could be the swan song of the... Oh, no. Cat, <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, yes, so you're listening. No. No. No, 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 no. No, no, take, no. look. No. My, my source said yeah. they are building a universe yes. and they're going to spin off the villains into the movies. Zaslav. Right. This is how wrong Sil is in this take. Zaslav stops a movie that's 90% done and shelves it, he's not going to let a $300 million show for season just because it's a standalone go into production before it's in production. Right? That doesn't make logical sense. No. He's no. going to pull something. He's going to stop it dead cold. It's 90% finished. And he's like, oh, this other project here, well, we're not going to build out the universe anymore. This $300 million show that leads to nowhere... Yeah, just film it anyway. No, no. No, See, the, the universes are going to be separate. And I've said that before, that Bad Matt Reeves thing. is going to have his own universe yeah. that is separate from DCU. Yeah. Make everybody happy. Yeah. Mm. Yes. Uh, so that was a horror. As soon as I thought he's going to give a, a good take, he gives that take. Oh, my God. Yeah. Swan song. <laughs> No, they're not going to go the way. You if know, it if was they, a swan if, song, they would have just yeah. pulled all the funding and said, that's it. We're just doing a one-off. They would not be doing a series based on the penguin, but yes. also this, uh, there might be this little, you know, I, you know it Arkham. may be, it may be more than one series. It may be the Arkham thing yeah, yeah. plus the, the penguin series. So that, yeah. you know, and when, so when you hear 300 million, it yeah. could be an amalgamation of both. Well, but, hey, would you, was, go ahead, Sierra. Uh, I say they could do a lot. They, uh, right, there's a um, regular prequel comic written by Paul Dano, and it's about. Oh yeah, they written. did that. They released that too. They didn't have to release that still. If it, if they were going though, they could have shelved that as well. Let's give. Well, them they, they could that could they could make that a series. Maybe like a series around the Riddler. Yeah, blue, blue, blue Jay. Dumb. Let's uh, give him sixty seconds to start making some sense. And then we're gonna be done watching this video. <laughs> Doing. Um, let's see. What was that project again, Danzig? The Arkham series or or Gotham PD or something. The 60 seconds of oh, yeah, also, yeah, the, the God, yeah, uh, the Gotham up, PD. Two hours later. Oh, Buster Keaton. Oh, okay. Yeah, just because he's doing another series doesn't mean other stuff's on the back burner. It's a mini series, right. so it's like it's like one and off. This is getting weird, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This is getting weird, y'all. I should just reach out to him and give him a scoop. I got it. <laughs> he doesn't well, need anyone. Cool. No, he doesn't need more scoop. No, just to give no, him some I credibility. Made... Oh, fake... <laughs> you know, I made a, I made a fake scoop. Yeah, I made a fake like... scoop. <laughs> you made a fake scoop and sent it to him. Oh no, I sent yeah. it to the, the group chat. Uh, one of uh, one of them um, thought it was real, and he was he about to he about to freak out. <laughs> oh, thanks a lot, Blue Jay. All right, 40 more seconds. Danzig. Appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see. Here we go. Okay. Well, does this have to do with anything? It means he's going to be busy with something else. Listen, listen. You yeah. you look at J.J. Abrams. He may have his hands yeah. in five different productions. It's the same thing with Matt Reeves. Right. They're giving him – they have a great relationship with him, and they like him, so they're letting him do multiple things. You can you can chew bubble gum and walk at the same time uh, in this industry. Well, so, it, it could right. mean that you're getting – to be fair, to be devil's advocate – it could mean you're getting to the next project later, but it doesn't necessarily mean that either. Well, look at look at Ryan Johnson. He's got his uh, Knives yeah. Out franchise, but he's but, also producing another series 
Yeah, uh, but, uh, Star, but, but, but if you face. if you use Ryan Johnson for example, look at the the Star Wars trilogy though. So he there are situations where he did that, and the trilogy is probably not going to happen. It's yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Right. No, so that uh, if, if it's a situation like that, but that's not every case though. So Ryan Johnson, yes, when he started working on Knives Out and the sequels, that no, meant well, that the, the trilogy like, that may have been not existent really to begin with. Like a lot of groundwork on it. I don't think there was a lot of groundwork on it whatsoever. Uh, personally, means it goes on the back burner. But that's not every case, though. So. No, but my only point is he can. He's doing multiple. He's doing the the Who Done It series called Poker Poker Face, which is that every episode is a new caper, like a mystery, mm-hmm. you know. And his wife is one of the writers on that show, um, and she has a podcast that's all about you know uh, uh, m- uh, murder mysteries and stuff like that. So that's where you know you see the Knives Out influence. But he's he's doing multiple things producing a television show along with making knives out. I mean, so my point is Matt Reeves can do the same thing. He can do another show with Rami Malek without a problem. Uh, you know, it's just, yeah. I mean, when you, when, if people take this and go, Oh, there, he's not doing Batman stuff. They're going to, he's doing other things. Look at JJ Abrams. I mean, just, that's not a good example. Well, not a good example. Sean. Yeah. Well, no, but the example, like hot wheels the, and but the, like, yeah, the example like is the you can, and DC, like you, you can do it, but you know, JJ do it well is a different story because yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't even know if if I saw um, Knives Out to the, the Onion, I didn't think it was very good. So, I mean, oh, well, you know, for it's... one thing, Reeves wants to capitalize on this opportunity, he's got absolutely Batman, so he wants his production company, so he actually wants to give something to start the production, you know, to start this deal, this mega deal he made. This mega deal wasn't just for Batman. With Warner Brothers, who, who so, said G, who said Gina Carano was involved with something? What? What is this? Who's saying that in the comment <laughs> section? Man, she ain't involved with anything. No. Oh, oh did you see like look, now her look, fans also, are attacking her? Oh, I, I I have uh I have that's for later on after after uh the box office game. I have oh, a comment well, with Gina Carano. Quick, uh, Sean, like you know, like J- you know James Gunn is doing his DC stuff. People didn't know that James Gunn is also doing a Coyote. Uh, Wiley Coyote movie. Wait, what? Not, that's awesome. Yeah, he's, he's perfect yeah, for he's, it. Yeah, he's doing a. I think he. No, it was John Cena. Ago. Well, he's, because he because he already did Scooby Doo. I mean, the guy. He's yeah. look. He can do it. He can do that stuff. Yeah, he's Fine. doing yeah. A, like a Coyote Wiley Coyote movie. I think it's coming out like next year, twenty twenty four. That's why I think he's not going to direct the Superman film. I think right. he's he just wrote it and he he's going to give some. I, to it I think he's got other stuff himself. to do. I think, you really think I, he's well, going to do it? No, I I think he's going to be busy with the Coyote versus Acme movie. I I think he's going to be busy with Peacemaker. I think he's going to be busy with like, things he, like that. Gonna, I, I think the only <laughs> chance he's going to direct be like, 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 alert. He doesn't know me. You know, I'm not happy with everything that's happened, no. Stuntman Scott. Uh, um, Stuntman let me see. Scott. Oh, but I, but I but I I want to re- remind everyone uh, that we all have almost 50 people watching. We have 24 likes. Smash the like Please. button, guys. MME is family. Look at all the family we got here. We got me, we got Sean, we got Caden, Blue Jay, and Senior Nerd. You know? Okay. Uh, so please help family out. Let's get the, we got a 50 like goal on our live stream. So please help support that. Unless we do want to also be done with uh, Silona in 24, 25 seconds. So let's. Uh... Loser take from Sean. Anthony, <laughs> what are you talking about? Which, which one? What was my loser take? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Of uh, Gina Carano, maybe I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Green, Buster Keaton limited series from Matt Reeves and oh. works at Warner, so it's kind of like a do this instead situation. Oh no, 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 no! He's wait. Well, see, he is like, he is selling that. Like, yeah, we don't want to spend money on Batman, so do this instead. Oh, <laughs> come on! Because he has a production deal with. Yeah. Okay. We don't need to see anymore. Also, I got. I got to point out. Okay. Th- literally, before the Batman was made, when Matt Reeves was announced, he had a deal with Netflix, and literally, literally, um, Campion said that Matt Reeves not going to do the Batman. He he said he said to his fans, "No, Matt Reeves not going to do the Batman because he got the Netflix deal." He he literally said it's not going to happen. Yeah. Right. Look, look what happened. <laughs> That happened years ago. It was, it was embarrassing. 
people can say anything, you know, yeah. dumb, dumb. Yeah. I mean, look, JJ Abram had a $500 million development deal with Warner brothers prior to the, you know, the merger. And a lot of those projects aren't seeing the light of day. So. Well, the um, last time I kind of heard about, maybe I'm wrong. JJ Abrams is producing with Warner animation to do a cat in the hat movie. That's what I heard. Um, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of years. other things that he's doing with, like he's Hot Wheels, like I mentioned, hey, Hot hey, Wheels. Hey. That just turned. That was an Apple TV Plus series with Warner Brothers TV that just turned into a movie, and like today, and and now there's uh, there's uh, and they're trying to make tell and Warner Brothers TV and pictures are working together with JJ forget, to build a Maytel cinematic universe, and Mar Barbie's part of it, Hot Wheels will be part of it, like they're building this thing so it's 